What's up guys, it's Brian Tium here and today we are back once again in Stellaris Console Edition with the Lock-In Mechanists. But that's right you guys, and Dose Snap is going to be an awesome freaking day. So guys, welcome back and happy Sunday. So we are indeed back here in the year 2359 and uh, you guys uh, definitely helped me a little bit in the last uh, in the last video because I had asked you whether or not you wanted to wait for the endgame crisis or if you wanted to, you know, just tributize the entire galaxy and call it a day. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to try and do both, but it just, it just depends on what happens first. So I know a lot of you want to see the Endgame Crisis, and I do too, honestly, because I'm, I'm curious to see which one we're going to get. Uh, because we did get synthetics very early on in the galaxy. Um, however, the, 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 the contingency can only spawn, if I'm not mistaken, if there's a massive online. amount of, of synthetics and robots in the galaxy. So right now, you know, there's a couple synthetics right here. There's some, uh, you know, some more Awoken. There's the robots. But most, if not all, of the species in the galaxy are organic. So I don't really foresee us having the contingency, which is a great thing. Trust me, it's a great thing. Um, I see us having either the Unbidden or, God forbid, the Scourge. Um, if we do get the Unbidden, it's a very easy counter which we'll be able to do very quickly. We'll just have to re-outfit our, um, our uh, ships and our titans and everything like that to be completely anti-shield. Um, but you also gave me a couple good ideas, um, you know, for some future videos and everything like that, going over the specifics of what exactly it takes to take down a, um, an endgame end game crisis. Now I'll go ahead and level with you. I'm not as prepared for it. Uh, you know, I'm not as... What's the word that I'm looking for? Not as... Uh, seasoned with taking on uh, endgame crises. I really hardly ever play the game until I get the endgame crisis because I'm always going after, um, you know, tributizing people or just wiping them out or forming very large, you know, um, federations across the entire New galaxy. So I'm curious to see what happens with this now, but we're pretty much going to be okay, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'm just going to continue to do my repeatable text. We're going to continue to try to catch up with our Empire Sprawl. Uh, technology is looking great. Um, we need to fix our consumer goods, though, because, oh my god, I cannot believe how many consumer goods we uh, <laughs> we are using. Um, we're probably using, honestly... Oh my god, we're Season using so many it. consumer goods. If I take that trade off, the monthly trade, and I take the uh, consumer benefits off of the uh, trade policy, we'd probably be losing, like, five or six hundred, maybe, maybe even seven hundred, uh, consumer goods a month, which <laughs> that's pretty ridiculous if you ask me. So some of the newer worlds that we'll be colonizing, or some of the newer worlds that we, you know, have open slots on, um, we'll probably want to put down some, like on this planet right here, we'll just put down some civilian industries, and then the rest of the uh, the stuff can be built with all of that stuff right there. All of these civilian industries need to just be built there, and the city districts, online. and everything like that. But we're continuing to expand. Uh, we do indeed have that new Ecumenopolis from the Fallen Empire, so that can also be able to, you know, crank out some major freaking consumer goods, um, especially after, you know, the last battle we went through all of that, and, um, you know, it's it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice that we've got that, and um, we're good to go. Alright, so we're continuing to keep all of the edicts and ambitions active as much as we can, uh, but in the meantime, I feel like maybe we should take out some of these uh, leviathans. So, the only Leviathan that I see on the map right now is the the stellar... what is this thing called? The Abyssal Horror? Dimensional Horror, that's what it's called. Uh, so we'll probably go ahead and hop on over there and take that thing out. What's over here in my space? Construction There's an online. asteroid. Oh, and it's heading towards a primitive civilization. Hmm... <laughs> Do we take them out? <laughs> Honestly, yeah, we'll just let that go. I don't really care too, too much about that. We've got all these holes in our space, uh, or at least, never mind, that's not what I meant to say. All of the holes are in our allies' space, but because they're the same paint job as me, it makes it makes me think that it's our stuff. But let's go ahead and pop on over here and you see if we can't take out this guy. Covered. What are our fleets looking like? Yeah, we'll just send everything in there, honestly. Just, just send it all. Uh, yeah. And then, let's see, we'll, we'll reconvene right there. And then we'll be good to go. So I'm actually now continuing to research weapon attack speed. Because our weapon attack damage is up to XLI. Uh, which is a decent bit, honestly. And uh, there's the first part of our Dyson Sphere done. So now we can go ahead and start on the second one. 
So the first tier does 262, uh, 262 energy. energy discovered. Okay. Well, that's really good to know. Uh, but yeah, eventually, once I get up into the L's of the kinetic weapon damage, we'll start doing that um, kinetic, kinetic weapon speed as well. I don't know what kinetic or kinectic is. But, <laughs> but yeah, so kinetic energy or the kinetic stuff, we'll start doing the speed, and the energy stuff, we'll start doing the speed as well eventually. But I just need to get just need to get that stuff going because honestly, our ships are gonna be fine. Now I'm just curious to see what happens when the end game crisis spawns and if the end game crisis spawns. Because it's, I think it's supposed to be able to spawn 25 years shot, after uh, the date the endgame starts. Now, we got that... Um, we have the Awakened um, Empire in this galaxy. So they should probably be next, honestly. So after we take out this Leviathan, we might come up here and take them out. Uh, because we don't want them to be in the galaxy with us. Uh, but they are the only Fallen Empire in the galaxy. So it, it doesn't really matter. There can't be a war in heaven. Uh, but it'll be the war against two juggernauts. Them and me. But, honestly, what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit here and, uh, you know, micromanage the worlds, continue to expand if I can, um, maybe build some more habitats because I've got so much influence, it's absolutely insane. And then, you know, just continue to, to continue to grow, and then hopefully you come, you know, 2370, maybe we can, uh, maybe we can fight the endgame crisis. Hopefully it spawns. When the aliens go to war, we observe. Oh, for fuck's sake. System charted. Are you kidding me? Do not tell me that they had a machine uprising. They had a goddamn machine uprising. Oh no. The Babaki League has the Kelbrid compli compilers in their space now. Aren't you two just wonderful people? Treat your damn robots with respect, you frickin' empires. Come on. Driven assimilators popping out of you. You know what? I'm not even gonna help you damn fight. I'm not even gonna damn well help you. I got two empires between me and you. I don't really give a shit. And they're after your dumb asses. How powerful are their fleets, though? That's that's my question. They've got a 37.2k... That is a fuckload of battleships. 13 battleships and 17 cruisers? Jesus! Okay, so they got a 37k there. Uh, they're in a huge fight right here with a 52k. Good lord! And last fleet that they've got is a 13.5k. <laughs> Yep, you guys are on your own. Fuck you. <laughs> Screw off. Treat your damn robots with respect. Give them citizen rights, and that won't happen. That is what's going to cause the contingency, Babaki. If we get the contingency, I'm blaming it on you. Sons of bitches. Construction online. But at least it's also... Um, everyone Everyone else has to go fight their war as well. <laughs> because they're currently at war with all of us, if I'm not mistaken. Because we're in a federation. Uh, yeah, we're all in a defensive war. Yeah, okay, good. So that means they have help. <laughs> That's good. But I'm not going to go help them. We're just going to take out this this lovely guy right here. Now, what exactly do they want? Probably just to consume online. them, right? Probably so. I was in the middle of freaking micromanaging all of my worlds, just sitting here, sitting nicely, just thinking about things, and, and all of a sudden the game froze, and I was like, oh no. Oh no, what's happening? It's happening, isn't it? And then fucking ugh, machine uprisings. I love them and I hate them all at the same time. New but at least we're catching discovered. up with our consumer goods now. And I mean, we had a huge buffer with consumer online. goods, so I mean, we're okay. And look at this. I mean, we got brand new civilian industries being popped up on all these planets. We're pretty good on that front. And then every other world that we've got, we'll just start putting them, putting all of them. Okay, looks like we're ready to go and fight this bad boy. We want to be a, a united front. So here's what we need to figure out. Which fleet moves the slowest? If we have you guys move all the way over to here, who is going to move the slowest? Because that's who's going to be having everyone follow them. Because this Corvette Swarm is just ridiculously stupid. Uh, okay, looks like it's the battleships and the cruisers that are the slowest. Okay, 500 Corvettes. Jesus, criminy. Alright, so this one is the Relentless Star Hunter. So we're just going to have this one, this one, and this one follow this one. Construction online. There we are. Now every single else, now every single other one should follow right behind there. Following, following, Construction online. and following. Okay, following the relentless star hunters. Let's get them staged right as we get ready to go Construction into online. Zulbuk's Maw. Right there. <clears throat> and we'll, we'll all jump online. in in a united front. 
Now, our, e our economy is just ridiculous. This online. Moment. So it, it's not even worth it to sell things. Hell, I would, I would set up a, an automatic trade every month to just give us, just give energy online. and minerals away. Do you mind New screaming in my ear every single time something has been constructed? My construction God. online. Why are there still more Corvettes being reinforced? Did I click reinforce on... Construction online. Did. I forgot. I completely forgot that I was already reinforcing this stuff in the last episode. I thought it was more of the Federation bullcrap. <laughs> okay. So, we need the Harrowed Star Hunters. These ones, right? These are the ones that everyone's following? No, the Relentless Star Hunters. There we go. Alright, let's uh, head in. Oh, wait, I can't. I need to un... un uh, New technology this. discovered. There we go. And Relentless Star Hunters, hop in there, please. Let's take down this Leviathan, shall we? And luckily, we're going to be kind of close to it, too. Online. So we'll be able to bombard it with all of Engaging our Corvette stuff, too. Fleet. Oh, my good lord. Oh, God, they're so creepy looking, dude. Look at its hands. Ugh. Armor's almost gone, and its health is going to just melt away. Perfect. Nice. How many ships did we lose? Six Corvettes from the main um, the Federation fleet, and nothing else. Situation more right. updated. Cool. So let's grab one of our... Oh, there we go. Got the achievement. Let's grab you. Defeat a horrifying invader. Research the projects in that system, please. And we'll just have everyone else go back home now. Perfect. That was really easy. Next, we'll go after the uh, Fallen Empire, and we'll upgrade everything, get everything good to go with all the Dark Matter stuff. Construction online. We'll be ready for uh, Fallen Empire round two. When the aliens go to war, we observe. What is it with all of my allies having machine uprisings? Are you kidding me? This one's not as big. Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> Oh my god, they got some big fleets too, I think. Uh, what do they have in this one? 30k, and what's this one? Uh, I can't tell. 22k, and then their big one over here, I think. No, this is only a 7k. Okay, so this one wasn't as big, but now, okay, so it... it I believe every single one of my allies probably has robots in their empire. And it seems they're not treating them the best. Uh, which is really kind of shitty for us, because we're going to be left in 17 wars New trying to discovered. save our allies from being ridiculously stupid. But all of our fleets are now being outfitted once again, and they continue to grow in power. In fact, we're now over 100k on every single one of the fleets, which is just awesome. Uh, we're a bit overpowered with our Corvettes, uh, our Corvette Swarm of 500 at uh, 303,000. Consumer goods are looking good, uh, but now all we need to do is upgrade our ships to the current uh, current technology. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? Uh, you, no upgrades available, bullshit. Let's make sure that the uh, designs they saved. Yep, those are good to go. Those are good to go. Those are also good to go. And you're good to go. You're good to go. Huh, okay, maybe... Wait, does, does everything already have the stuff that it needs? No, this is not... That doesn't have dark matter. Okay, but that one needs to upgrade. What about these ones? So these ones have the uh, stuff that they need? Aha, they do. Okay, that's probably why they're so damn powerful together. Uh, you... Oh yeah, did we've changed the uh, Federation designs too? Good, 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 dark matter, dark matter, yeah, dark matter, dark matter, dark matter, and dark matter. Not that we needed to check anything other than the Corvettes. Upgrade that, and lastly, we need to upgrade you, maybe? No? Okay, perfect. Alright, so we'll get those two upgraded, we'll be good to go on that front. You can just return back to base so that you're... Why is it yellow? It's in orbit around the station. I don't know. I don't know. That must be a glitch or something. All right, but perfect. Once all of our ships are dark mattered out, we'll probably pop on over here. And it uh, looks like the Xandir Interstellar Autocracy is making some gateways. Are any of them catching up to me in power? I don't think they are. Uh, no. Everyone's still very pathetic to me. 
Uh, even the... Pretty sure probably even the Fallen Empire. There are still equivalents to me. Okay. That's honestly kind of terrifying. If there's still equivalent to me, and we've got over three, four, six, like almost 800k fleet power, I can definitely tell you one of the worst things about Stellaris on console, and even on PC, is um, having to wait for the endgame crisis to spawn. You know, because when you get too powerful too quickly, and there's like not a whole lot to do, like sure, I could go to war with all of the people that I need to, to tributize them. I could go and help my allies with their machine uprisings. But honestly, they're going to be too easy anyways. <laughs> they're going to be too easy. Um, and it's it's not like it's going to be, you know, something too crazy. Like, sure, I can I can spend the 79,000 alloys that I have and the over 700 influence on the habitats to build them. But at the same time, what's the point? If the endgame crisis isn't, isn't going to spawn for like another 40 online. years, I don't even know. I'd say that's probably one of the hardest things about about Solaris is, is deciding whether or not you're going to make the endgame crisis super early to give yourself like an extra extra challenge or to make them super super late to give yourself a you know a chance to catch up and to do all of that good stuff but like at the same New time technology discovered i don't know man like <laughs> i just don't know let's just start building more and more of these habitats shall we i mean we may as well it'll it'll help pass the time right because <laughs> i've just been sitting here in silence just just chilling trying to figure out what the hell oh god dang it click the wrong damn button just trying to figure out what the hell to do to, to fill my time. <laughs> I mean, sure, I could build habitat or um, gateways in every single system inside of my space. All right, now we're out of influence, so that works for me. Three new habitats, and that'll be good for me. We're continuing to get even more powerful with all of this stuff. And once we get up to the XLI with um, weapon attack speed, we'll just start doing shield harmonics. New technology discovered. Now, the good thing is, is we're actually catching up to our admin cap quite quickly. Uh, yeah, we're now at 720 out of 781. I can kind of dig it. Now, once all of our ships are done upgrading, I'm going to take us into war, and we're going to go to war with the Ascended Empire over here. Just because I think it would be a nice challenge. I think it would be an okay challenge. Uh, and our fleets, they're, they're powerful enough. Uh, I was thinking about... I was thinking about making another fleet of just battleships. But, like, at the same time, I don't really know if we need that. We've got 21 in that fleet right there. We got two Titans, 99 Destroyers. <laughs> Why do we have so many Destroyers? Oh, I love it so much. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just trying to figure out, you know, what exactly to do. All of our worlds, you know, they're, they're sorted. Sure, we've got some open slots on a couple of them, but honestly, them, a lot of them are already over um, overdeveloped as it is. So we don't really even need to do anything like that. But over time, I'm going to slowly do all of this stuff with all the broken buildings on the Font of Knowledge. And we're just going to continue to get... All of that stuff. In fact, you know what? Let's just replace all of this with this stuff. Don't exactly know why I haven't done that yet. Quite an expensive trip, or quite an ex expensive uh, investment. But that'll give New us some time. Technology discovered. And that'll be good, because then we'll at least know how many jobs we actually have open on that planet. But yeah, until the endgame crisis shows up, it's just kind of a waiting game. Huh, they are... Oh, they're stepping on my toes now. Oh, is that so? Oh, so y'all motherfuckers want to invade me now? Oh, it just got personal. Shit just got personal. All right. Let's send the swarm. How long is that going to take? 533 days. Okay, fuck it. They're messing with me now. Isn't that fun? Now that gives us credence to come in here and just wipe their asses with, with everything. Uh, but let's see. The only planet that we care about is the Font of Knowledge. Let's make sure that's good to go. <clears throat> we don't need this as an anchorage. We can just turn this into a bastion. So they thought they they could invade my planets and everything like that. Isn't that a fun idea for them? These machines are overstepping their bounds. <clears throat> and just because we can, we're probably going to go to war with the, uh, the Pithok Empire next, just because they pissed us off a little bit. But as long as they don't get to the Font of Knowledge, we're fine. Not to mention, the Font of Knowledge actually has a fortress on it. So, I mean, I think we're going to be A-OK. -okay. I think we'll be A-OK. -okay. Do I have any armies left? I do. Uh, oh, and what do you know? They're on the Font of Knowledge. <laughs> yeah, no. I don't foresee them getting anywhere close to me. Anywhere close to me. So that's good. <clears throat> but yeah, no, they're trying to take out my space out here. Now who's saying things? 
bitch. We are allies. Do you see those cords coming out of your head? Are you kidding me? We are allies. You're my tributary. Is it because I'm not helping you? Probably. But just hang on a second. Ooh, what's going on in this system? 7.3k is taking out... Uh, yeah, they... Okay. You know what? Let the machines win, damn it. I'll settle status quo with them. I don't give a shit. They're machines. Well, they're going pretty crazy. Let's go ahead and show them what it means to be uh, a very powerful empire. Greetings, their 7k fleet. You're probably going to die before I even get into this into this system, but you know what? We're at least going to give it a best shot. I just can't wait for them to shit their britches as soon as I pop into the system with over 100k fleet power, just with corvettes. Then with their 12 battleships and their 12 cruisers. You ain't seen nothing yet, damn it. You ain't seen nothing yet. Alright, but they're still 19 days out, so it's... <laughs> Watch them just jump out. Come on, damn it, I want to get in on the action. There's 45 corvettes in that fleet? Wow. Well, say hello to 230 of my swarmlings. <laughs> if only you could put Strikecraft on Corvettes, how dope would that be? Just a massive swarm of Corvettes with even tinier ships coming out of them? I think that'd be amazing. Prepare to meet your makers, their machines. Yes, hello my friends, goodbye my friends. It's been lovely knowing you. Here comes all the plasma in the world. Rain plasma down on them. And soon, once they get close enough, all of the devastated torpedoes will be let loose. They're like little sharks, they just kind of seek you out. Hello there, my friends. And off come the missiles, here come the torpedoes. You done fucked up now, robots. And what do you know, the panties jumped out. Well, we'll just continue to retake all of this territory through here. Alright, we'll slowly make our way over to there as well. Ambition will to power is done. God dang it. Oh, come on, get it. Yeah, okay, there we go. Okay, so our 500 ships that are in the, um, the Federation fleet are still upgrading. They've been upgrading for the past five years. Oh my god. There are so many ships, it's insane. You know, if they take out the Babaki League, I'm, I don't think I'm going to be too mad. They were always assholes to us before, so, you know, it's whatever. Engaging Hostile Station. Engaging Hostile Station. They're probably going to get 13 shots off, and it's, yep, there, like I said. <laughs> they don't even need to launch their damn torpedoes. I mean, come on, guys. Don't need any of this shit. There's a 6.3k fleet in this system. I mean, hell, I've, I'm of half a mind to just bombard the shit out of all these planets. <laughs> oh, I'm a terrible ally. How exactly do they get into this system? Did they lose a fleet trying to get into this system? Or was my station just not very powerful? Because, I mean, they came in and colonized this planet like it was nothing. They didn't even colonize it. They just... Are they occupying it? Uh, no. It's, it's actually theirs. Uh-huh. Interesting. Okay, well, that's fine. I mean, I don't really give a shit about them, so. But slowly but surely, we will fight back the Mechazur Observers. So we'll take out that system and that system and that system. Because I guess if you want something done, you gotta do it yourself. I have half a mind to just insult this Awakened Empire out here and see what happens. Kind of like that old, that age-old adage, don't poke the bear. Or, you know, don't poke the beehive if you don't want to get stung. I want to poke them and see what have, see what fun they have. Okay, so something strange just happened that I didn't actually realize was a possibility. The Awoken Empire just built a gateway. Which means they are probably getting ready to go to war so that they can jump around through all of the different gateways. Although I don't think that's how that works. But perhaps they're going to go to war near a wormhole, jump through it, and then they'll be able to travel through the rest of the galaxy. I'm not sure. But I brought out the, uh, the Crazy Swarm. Uh, just because I can. Uh, and we're just now, you know, chasing this New fleet all over Hell's creation. Discovered. Trying to get rid of it. Online. Because as long as they don't have their ships, they can't fight back. 
And we're also sending this fleet down here to go ahead and take out these little fringe sections. In fact, we can just go ahead and have you hop on down there, big man. And then we'll have them just kind of sweep up here and take these out as well. Still nothing about the endgame crisis, but I figured I'd bring you in and tell you about the uh, Awakened Empire building a gateway. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. I almost feel bad for these guys, though, honestly. Like, we are just, we're just wiping the floor with them, honestly. It's a bit sad, but you know what? It's unfortunate that the machines had to uprise in an empire where they were being poorly mistreated. Kind of sucks, honestly. That's why I think we'll let the Bucky League sort itself out. These guys started coming after me as well. It's because I have all this territory out here as well. But, you know, these guys are staying away from me. So we're just going to leave them be. Let them take out the Babaki League. You know, if they start going towards the Mandasaurus Galactic Hierarchy, I think we'll probably step in because they haven't done anything. Um, and they're just sitting on their border waiting to... Uh, oh, scratch that. Nope, they're going in to help, it looks like. <laughs> well, I suppose we'll find out. Oh, our ally is such a good person. <laughs> Even when they're at war. They're still reinforcing my fleet. <laughs> we lose one Corvette and it's like, online. Oh my god, scramble, we need to refill it, we need to refill it! <laughs> what good people. Oh my god, that's so silly. We lose one Corvette and they're automatically sending another one. I love it. Being in a Federation certainly has its perks, that's for damn sure. None of those alloys that I ever spent, or none of the, uh, the ships that are in the uh, Federation fleet, I've spent zero on them. The only money that I've spent on those ships is upgrading them. I've not outfitted any of them, or I've not uh, reinforced any of them, which I think is kind of funny. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to knock out all of their stations so that they can't make any more ships. Then I'll let whatever, you know, I'll let the, um, who is this again? The State of Fifthness. I'll let them just take out the planets if they want them back. Knowing that it's going to take a while to get them back, I'm sure, but it'll at least be okay, because then we won't have to worry about any more of their enemy ships coming into my territory. And depending on what goes on up here with the Babaki League, I don't really see them coming New out of this on top. Discovered. I see the, um, I see the uh, compilers taking over. I mean, I'm completely fine with that because they're machines, like I said. And we've got this guy as a buffer state, and we've got these guys as well. So once they get knocked out, I mean, we could technically probably declare status quo with them. The only problem is they're at war with all of us, so we can't settle status quo until they get down below negative 20. Now that's weird. Why is it allowing me to do that? They went to war against their makers, these guys, the Babaki League. I don't know. That's a little strange. Normally you're not supposed New to be able to you know, surrender or do with white peace if it's not your war. We're almost there. Look at that. Technology only costs 3.9 more. I love it. We're almost there. And it's only taken us 166 years. What do you know? What's going on here? Gases. Looks like we need to trade a few more gases. Let's just buy 20. There we go. And we'll bump this up to uh, 20 as well. There we go. And so that I can see it tick over. Go and do that. There we go. And that should fix our strategic resource problem. Just so that the uh, Galactic Mandasura hierarchy knows that we have their back, we're going to send one of our powerful fleets up to here. What New the hell happened here? Discovered. The Coalition of Babaka? Are these rebels? Who the hell are all you people? Okay, bless you. They're authoritarian fanatic pacifists. That is not what the uh, Coalition, or that's not what the Babaki League was before. Not exactly how that happened. So they're going through a machine uprising and they're going through a rebellion, it would seem. What's going on here? Oh. <laughs> These little tiny things are in for the ride of their life. Sorry about your bad luck. Oh, no. Okay, good. We didn't have to jump in there and kill them. All right, but yeah. So uh, this fleet is making its way through and we're sending one of our bigger fleets up here to reinforce their choke point right here. Just in case they jump into their space will know um, that we have their back. Because, I mean, they've not done anything bad to us. They were assholes in the beginning, but they have repented, and they are good people now. And, I mean, I, I suppose they do deserve our support. So we're sending 21 battleships and 15 cruisers to reinforce them, just in case. That way they've got a little bit of a buffer between them and the people who abuse robots. <laughs> oh, my God. 
But yeah, so I'm just going to systematically take out all of these stations right here. And then they won't be able to reinforce any more ships. And then we can finally move our stuff over to here to end up taking out them. But we'll probably have to do that in the next episode because unfortunately I'm running out of time. I can only really record these um, about an hour, hour and a half at a time. Uh, just because of how my day is scheduled. So it tends to get a little bit hectic sometimes. Especially when I'm trying to make the damn <laughs> Endgame Crisis spawn. But hopefully by the year 2370 we see something. Oh my goodness, are you serious? It only took us... 167 years to get above our empire sprawl <laughs> and we only just did it <laughs> oh my god i cannot believe how long that has taken us to get there that is just insane uh so yes finally we are beginning to whittle away at their uh, space stations and the last ones uh, continue to fall once that's done we'll probably end off today's episode right there uh, but yeah, then they won't be able to reinforce, and they can just send their armies in and take back their, their planets if they want to. And if we're in war for too long, I'll just come in and do it myself, because I'm not sitting here for forever until the um, Endgame Crisis spawns being in war with two different machine empires that I didn't really care about in the first place. But uh, yeah, the Babaki League is um, kind of being eaten alive. <laughs> and it's kind of awesome, too. Uh, can we finish... The war? No, we cannot. But I can surrender. I don't exactly know what that would do. Uh, I actually don't know what that would do to us. Systems, Calvert compilers, technology code. Okay, I don't know what that would do. I have a feeling it would it would destroy us as well, and they would just gain all of the space that we own, including our allies as well. That would be kind of insane. But I don't know. It all just depends on uh, what happens if one of if someone knows what will happen if i uh, if i decide to do that in, instead of finishing the war let me know if you know what would happen because i didn't start the war but it set, it allows me to surrender so i don't exactly know how that's possible but guys right there i think is where i'm going to go ahead and end it and hopefully in the next episode we will get the end game prices and if not i'll just have to do some stuff off camera and uh kind of wait it out but until then guys thank you so so much for watching and i will see you in the next video.